Um, last example, uh, another cube. This one looks exactly like a column. And uh, we want to get volume height. I think we only need once. Um, we don't need the reference side surface area. We only need the vertical surface area. And um, this behavior can be uh, for rectangular and circular columns, uh, but also for, for profile columns. And, and this is an example for, of a uh, profile column. So we have an inner loop and an outer loop that define the, the profile, in this case, maybe of a steel column. Volume is, is no problem at all for, for those elements, as long as there is a, a closed body volume calculation, both net and gross will return uh, the, uh, the values successfully. Um, there is a, uh, a possible issue if you draw your, uh, your columns under an angle of 45 degrees. That is the same, by the way, if you would classify this as a beam, uh, because it is hard to determine whether something is a top or a side if it's under 45 degrees, because it's exactly at that decision point. Uh, another thing that we uh, that we have found is um, there is the um, a, a calculation that uses the the inner loop in in tube elements. So what you may see is that because that is an inner loop, it is inside the uh, exterior shell basically. Therefore, it is considered a whole surface area. Uh, so the whole surface area for tube type columns uh, will be pretty high. It's because the algorithm considers the whole surface of, of the, the interior of that tube as being whole surface area. Again, that is something we realize after, after testing. And the way to, to solve that is by refining the uh, the quantity extraction algorithms to make sure that, uh, that those exceptions are treated correctly. So I think the, uh, the main conclusions of, of, of that quantity takeoff story is um, it is algorithms, which is different than, than just using the, the ready properties and ready quantities that we used to get from ARCHICAD. Uh, it is important to make reviewing of the set of quantities a part of the process. So don't just say I'm using the quantities as, as they are provided by vehicle office. I always need to check if there's numbers that have that warning triangle or uh, whether there's, uh, there's numbers that, that seem higher than expected. And then third one is uh, painting is an important part of the, the takeoff manager process. Painting is used to reclassify where uh, the, uh, the geometry analysis failed uh, because of uh, the, the known limitations at this point. Uh, or use element type conversion, which uh, sometimes solve that too. If there's a, a reference line missing, uh, you may want to convert it to a slab, which does not require a reference line, and you get the vertical surface area.